Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about Linux AWK Explained. While AWK works on such programs that contain rules comprised of different patterns and different action. And those action gets executed on the text that matches the pattern. And pattern gets enclosed in the curly brackets as you can see onto my terminal on my screen. And a pattern and an action form a rule and the entire AWK program gets closed in a single code that looks like this. Now I'll show you an example. If I write here who, it will give me the information about the user and it also give me the time and date. So this is how it looks like. Now I'll use some of the flags or you can say I'll use some of the things along with my who and I will extract some of the information. By default, AWK considers a field to be a string of character that gets surrounded by white spaces and the start of a line or end of the line. Now I'll show you an example if I write here who space. Now I will write here AWK space. Now I'll have my single inverted commas as I have mentioned earlier. And now I'll have my curly brackets and in that curly bracket I'll write here print dollar sign one dollar sign one means it will represent the first field that will use with the print action to print that onto our terminal if i hit enter now so here if you see it has only printed zubair so here if you see on the first who command we had some information like zubair tty2 and then we have date and time basically this is first field this is second one and this is the third one as we have printed only first, that is why we have Zubair as an answer. Let's say you want to print as many fields as per liking. And for that purpose, we just have to comma as a separator and we'll have our answer. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to use the same command, but I'll add a comma in here. And now I'll write here dollar sign three. If I hit enter now. So here, if you see, I have two strings in here or you can say I have two fields Zubair and date. So this is how you can print as many fields as per your liking with the help of your AWK command. Now I'll talk about some of the special field identifiers and these represents the entire line of text and the last field in the line of a text. For example, if I write here dollar sign zero, it represents the entire line of a text. For example, I'll use the same command but instead of dollar one, I'll write here dollar zero, hit enter. Okay, I'll write here dollar zero. If I hit enter now, so here if you see, I have whole line with the entire text. If you use dollar one, it will represent first field, dollar two will represent second one, and up to so on. If you go with dollar NF, it stands for number of fields and it will represent the last field into your text. You can also tell your AWK command to print a particular character between fields instead of the default space character. For example, if I write here date, hit enter. So here I have whole detail of my date. But now let's say I write here date space AWK space by single inverted commas and inside of that I'll have my curly brackets. And in my curly brackets, I'll have my print statement space dollar sign two comma dollar sign three comma dollar sign six. And now if I run my program, okay, I have an error here. I have to write the date in a right format, which is like this. And now here, if you see, I have only the expected information that I wanted. I had second field, which is 19. Then I have third one, which is May. Then I had sixth one, which is AM, which is right here. So here, if you count, here it is one, two, three, four. And this is the whole one, which will be considered as one. So it is fifth one, and this is the sixth one. So this is how you can use your AWK command in your bash or in your terminal in your Linux distribution. So I hope now that now you have idea that how you can use your AWK command along with different parameters to get particular information out of it. And that brings us to the end of today's video. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care.